Hi, I'm Joe Hupsey, and I'm here with the author of the paper, A Formal Verification App Towards Efficient Chip-Wide Clock Gating Verification. So, Syed, Suhey, welcome, and maybe give a little bit about your background before we talk about the contents of the paper. My name is Syed Suhey, as you already mentioned. I work at NVIDIA, and I've been with NVIDIA for about five years. I lead the formal verification team for CPU and Tegra designs. Prior to that, I actually got my PhD from Virginia Tech, mm -hmm. and I, after that, I worked a couple of years at GE Research. Wow, terrific background. Now, what was the verification challenge that you were facing? So the verification challenge we were facing was the clock gating verification. Usually, clock gating verification comes very late in a design cycle, mm -hmm. and it gets tested randomly in simulation. However, that's a big challenge because there are cases which get missed in simulation, and as a result, the bugs come up very late, which can be very expensive. Hence, we wanted to come up with a framework where we can actually effectively and efficiently verify clock gating. Now, what are the advantages of the SEC, the sequential equivalency checking app, versus some of the other approaches you might have done in the past? Yeah, some of the other approaches that we did in the past were basically using model checking to actually verify clock gating. Mm -hmm. One of the big challenges in that was we had to add a lot of constraints and write the checkers ourselves. Okay. In SEC, the biggest advantage is the environment gets automatically created. It automatically creates the two copies of the RTL, connects the inputs, generates the output assertions, and so forth. Also, uh, this, the, other big the, the other big advantage of using SEC is that it enables much easier push-button verification for the designers who are not conversed with formal verification techniques and tools. As a result, what happens is, since we have two copies of the RTL, the formal verification engines take advantage of the symmetry between the two instances of the RTL. Uh, secondly, um, given, that, given the fact that we're doing formal verification, the state space explodes. However, the, what the app allows us to do is it allows us to easily abstract out parts of the design which are not related to clock gating. Mm -hmm. And in the case of bugs, if we see a mismatch between the two RTL, what that tells us is that in a clock getting enabled as well as disabled, we have a mismatch. This app enables us to debug the failures very easily. The way it does is it, it automatically plots all the signals on the waveform based on the fact that as long as we have mismatch, it will print out the mismatch signals and quickly help us identify the failures. We have noticed that it may, this, this specific app actually saves us about 8 to 10 minutes of debugging time right. per failure. And that's a huge benefit. So tell me, what were some of the results? So we applied this on 50 different units mm -hmm. in our design. And we had about 20 people working on it. The 20 people included the DV, the designers, as well as formal verification engineers. The, the fact that this tool was, it was used by designers and DV, which were not conversant with the formal tool, was very amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, we found in the process, we found 40 bugs, which were very late in the design cycle. And simulation actually missed them. And that's why the results are very astonishing. Good. Well, Syed, thanks again for sharing the results of your paper. All right, thank you so much, Joe.